my dear fans. I hope you guys are doing great. Let's talk about displacement today. There are people who are very vulnerable towards anger emotion and sometimes that can be because of the traits that they inherited, um, personality type as well. Um, one of their difficulty would be their, their, their in a, inability to regulate themselves. So they carry over the emotion that they have towards another situation and that situation can be people, objects or any something else in their life. So sometimes with parents, they can be upset or stressed out about something and when they have a really, let's say a bad day and a hard time to regulate themselves, during that time they, um, sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit breathless, I'm here for a walk in the park, so sometimes they cannot um, have that time for themselves to cool down, to calm down, to to get themselves to a place where they are not very reactive. Unfortunately, they don't have that chance or that opportunity. So what happens is that they turn towards their children. So sometimes children will come to them and they will ask about something and they get immediately upset and the child doesn't know what's going on and they get really confused and sometimes hurt. And the sad thing about this is that sometimes children actually develop uh, their own um, self-concept through this behavior that I'm bad or something is wrong with me or I'm a bad child and my mother or my father is always like this. So this situation requires a lot of self-awareness that on first place to know that you are a vulnerable person, that you have a, a very busy schedule maybe or whatever reasoning that makes you more vulnerable on that day. You want to take care of yourself and slow down in life and um, try to have more me time and more self-care time for yourself as much as you can. And the second thing is again something that I talked about in my other videos about anger is that you take time out. You you take that time off for yourself that hey I've been in situation one and that actually caused me stress so I am more vulnerable to transfer this stress towards people who are vulnerable and who cannot defend themselves which in this case can be children sometimes that can be elderly uh, parents um, that people tend to take out their own anger on them so um, unfortunately, in case of elderly, it's, you know, people often categorize that as elderly abuse or, um, yes, elderly abuse, but in case of children, unfortunately, uh, that is sometimes seen uh, as normal thing to do. Uh, but um, the problem is that usually children look up to their parents and they try to make sense of who they are through the, their parents' eyes and therefore they develop a negative self-concept about themselves. So if you are someone who's quite vulnerable with this kind of, um, you know, this kind of problem, I've been there myself, I've had it too. Um, so the key is number one, self-awareness. Try to take time off for yourself, even if that's five minutes of break in the washroom and removing yourself, which in this case would be the same, like going to the washroom for five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 or whatever. Um, so try to uh, take that time off for yourself so that you're not carrying over the emotion that you've had from situation A to situation B, knowing that people will be affected by that, especially people who are very vulnerable and we have power over them. All right, I hope this helps and I'll see you.